What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jamal back with another video. You know what I'm saying? And today's uh, video, as you see by the title, is basically three tips on you know how to maintain, you know, how to get it, and how to maintain your foot from dread. So before I get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on the road to 2K. Make sure you turn on post notifications. You know what I'm saying? So you know when my videos are out. Let's get into the video. All right. So tip number one. Tip number one is basically. I like to call it, you know what I'm saying? You can call it anything, really don't matter. It's just putting your hair away. So like, for example, um, having it, you know what I'm saying? Rubber band, scrunchie, whatever. Um, having the rubber bands, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can wear like hats or something. Like just to keep your hair, like, um, just to keep it tucked, you know what I'm saying? Keep it away, you know what I'm saying? Potentially from getting wet, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you stay in Florida, even though it's cold right now in Florida, the humidity, the humidity level isn't high, so your hair not really gonna mess up, but in general, you know what I'm saying, if you're in a place where it's high humidity, you know what I'm saying, you wanna kinda stay away from that because that's sort of like kinda getting your hair wet. It's not like washing it, but it's just like, you know, it just keep your hair dry. You wanna keep your hair as dry as possible, you know what I'm saying? And you know, being outside, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna, Add some type of moisture to your hair, you know what I'm saying? So you want to try to avoid that as you know what I'm saying, as positive as you can, as much as possible. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody perfect, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna happen, but you wanna minimize it, you know what I'm saying? Putting luggage on your hair and you know, keeping your hair, you know what I'm saying, tied up or something. Um, and there's many ways you can do that, you know what I'm saying? Four ponytails, two ponytails, you can have it all up, you know what I'm saying? And uh, especially when you go to sleep too. When you go to sleep. You can also, um, you don't wanna lay on your hair, you can. You can lay on your hair. Um, it's not really gonna make your hair unravel or nothing. It's just gonna get mad at it because you're already having free foam dreads. Your hair is already napped up. So you don't want it to be that and mad at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna try to keep it, you know what I'm saying? As stretched as possible. So that's basically tip number one. Tip number two. Tip number two basically is you know, how you want your dress. So basically, if you want your dress to hang, you like your dress to be skinny and you like them to hang. Uh, you want to, you want to, whatever method you use, the towel method, sponge method, <laughs> the sponge method, your fingers, uh, even your hand, um, whatever method you use, you want to do that a lot more than usual. You know what I'm saying? You want to really be twisting your hair all the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you're on the other side of that and you want your hair to be similar to more like mine's and you want your hair to be, you know, froy, you know what I'm saying? You want to have like an afro, you want your shit to like stick up and stand up. You don't want to sponge it as much. Um, you do want to twist it a lot though, uh, whatever you do. And you want to use a pick. You want to use a pick and kind of, and kind of lift the hair. You don't want to pick the hair out. You just want to kind of. Kind of just want to lift the hair, and that's all you're gonna do. And people that do that, they mostly you mostly want to keep your hair stretched as well, like the ponytail or something, just so that it's pulling. You know what I'm saying? So your hair is more up and it's not, you know, what I'm saying flat and everything. And um, and if you want your hair to be, you know, skinny, there are sponges. Nah, not this one. This is it's not a good example. I got one in the bathroom where it's two sides. You know what I'm saying? One size for, you know, if you want bigger circles, bigger circles, and then there's a, a side with small circles if you want smaller circles. You know what I'm saying? Um, I recommend if you do want bigger twists, um, there's different ways. You don't always have to use the side with the sponge, the big holes. You can you can two strand and twist your hair actually to how you want it. You know what I'm saying? However, want you ever want the size to be, that's how you're going to and twist it. And that's basically all you do. Uh, you can leave it in for however you want, and then you can take them out or whatever. If you want it to be skinny, but if you want it to stay big, you kind of just leave them in and let your hair free from like that. Either or, it's basically depending on how you want your hair. So there's different ways to go about it. Me personally, as you guys can see, I like to have my hair sticking up, sticking out. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, man, that's basically uh, tip number two. So tip number three. Now, tip number three, I said this in my last video um, when I was just talking about my hair update, if you guys can watch it. So basically, tip number three is washing, okay? So now everybody on YouTube, I don't say everybody, but a lot of people on YouTube say do not wash your hair 
um, which is true to a certain extent. Like I said, my last video, you want to wash your hair sometimes. I would say if you just start, like, like, for example, if you just started today, don't wash your hair. I mean, okay, if before you do anything, you want to wash your hair, right? If you got a fro, whatever, or whatever you got, you want to wash it. So day one is always the wash day. When you start your free from dress, you always want to wash your hair that day. That's probably the last time you'll wash your hair for a minute. Only for a few months. It really, it's not really time on it. It depends on how fast your hair, some people hair lock up faster than other people naturally. So the first day you start, you want to wash your hair, clean it out, make sure it's dry. And that's when you want to start the process. The next time you want to wash it is maybe, I will say, depending on how high your hair is. If you got softer hair like mine, you want to wait like three months. If your hair, if you got that, you know what I'm saying? That, that shit, that the lock up, shit a month, two months. Once you start to see, you can tell, once you start to see your hair actually forming twists and actually starting, it's not looking like a fro, it's starting to actually make twists. You can wash it, right? When you wash it, depending on how long your hair is, like for me, you know what I'm saying? I recently washed my hair and my hair is not locked yet. Ever since I washed it, it's gotten a little bit more locked, which is basically the point I'm telling you this. You know what I'm saying? You want to kind of, when you dry your hair, you want to stretch it because it is, it is going to shrink up, you know, so especially if you got longer hair, like me, it's going to shrink up. So you got to kind of like, that's the, that's why you don't really want to wash it. But if your hair is short, then it's probably okay because you're not going to have as much strength because your hair is short. You're still going to have strength but your hair is short. But the point I'm trying to make is washing your hair actually is going to help you get, you know what I'm saying, the locking process. Like for example, my last lock journey, um, from last year, I washed my hair maybe two times. And then after that, my shit was already, but I did it in like months apart, you know what I'm saying? So when I first started it, you know what I'm saying? I was just twisting my hair. I didn't wash my hair for months. Then boom, months came by, months went by, washed it. Started, I started to notice a difference, you know what I'm saying? Boom, after my hair progressed, washed it one time after that, I just washed it whenever I wanted to because my hair was already locked. So if you are in the beginning stages, you can wash your hair, but just do it once, do it once, and it's gonna help. Trust me, it's gonna help with the locking process. But you don't want to wash it as if you got like curly hair or some shit. Don't do that. But other than that, you know what I'm saying. Those are the three tips. You know what I'm saying for you to get your free form dress and how to maintain them. You know what I'm saying. So if you found this video, you know what I'm saying, useful, helpful. You know what I'm saying, whatever. Um. Make sure you leave a like, you know what I'm saying, subscribe on the road to 2K, like I said, at the beginning of the video. Hit the bell, you know what I'm saying, so you know when my videos are out. And I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I'll see you on the next video.